welcome back to another episode of the Luxury Home Show. Today you're joining us in Hilltop Altrincham, the billionaire's row of the north. And we're going to be taking you inside this incredible Hampton style property just behind me. Now it has to be seen to be believed. The insides are incredible. We've got really, really private area as well. We've got the double gate leading right here. But without further ado, let's take you inside. property now stick a quick floor plan up for you so you can get your bearings as we make our way through the house we've got just under 7,000 square feet across two floors so very vast rooms but in this entrance space we have parquet flooring as soon as you walk in and yeah the white walls just really catch your attention but check out this staircase it looks absolutely incredible wider at the bottom and it narrows up European oak on the stairs and then yeah. we've got you might be able to see here, these spindles are just like these basic square spindles, but they flow really nicely, reflecting yes. that Hampton style I said about in the beginning. But come through these double doors, and I'm going to take you into this living area. Should we wow. the kitchen? <laughs> yeah, I yeah. know, right? This is amazing. Look how big this island is. Yeah. That's huge, and it's bespoke marble. We've got the Shores Belfast tap here sinks I should say just here now cooker tap <laughs> that's what you meant yeah Belfast sink, sink cooker, cooker tap, tap. there <laughs> yeah. we go this oven so we've got the Miele oven 25k this oven costs yeah and it came with a Michelin chef yes so when you get it <laughs> they want to demonstrate how it works so for one time you can have this Michelin chef come in and cook you and like guests and yeah stuff. Not bad, right? No, not bad at all. Now, the great thing about this kitchen space is it's mirrored. So on that side, at the far end, you have the fridge, but then you also have the freezer at this far end. They're absolutely huge, massive. We've got Siemens appliances, which is great. And then, for example, like this cupboard, maybe Draw. that one. <laughs> this one here is yes. a bin on the same side. Yeah, you've got exactly. two yeah. of everything, two pantries, you know, two bins. Really Two dishwashers. Up. Exactly. Me lay all the way through, I think, the dishwashers. Yeah. Plenty of storage as well, and it's just incredible. Now, you might have noticed the ceiling. Yeah, hard not to. Hard, yeah, exactly. We've got that beautiful ambient lighting with the recessing. It's so stunning. You've got the spotlights in there as well, the speakers in the ceiling. It's just such a beautiful, relaxing space, especially with all the white and the parquet flooring. Now, coming into our living space, before I do that, worth noting that it is an Azelink kitchen design, so beautiful. Then we've got this lounge area here. Opposite me, the TV, hence the speakers in the ceiling. Behind Tom, we have the doors leading into the garden space, and it's actually a Koya wood, which is a top of the range wood. I believe they cost around 100 grand for the material, and then an extra 30 grand to paint them. Wow. Now, all the lighting is imported from America. Along with some other materials as well, yes. you know, it really fits the style of this house. And yeah. so it wouldn't make sense if the outside looked kind of like that American yeah. style without all the inside fitting the same. Now we move into this dining space. We have this beautiful unit over here. It has the Miele wine cooler in there as well. <laughs> we you excited have... to show us this yeah. one? <laughs> <laughs> so we have a cinema room. Parquet flooring continuing in here. You've got the same doors out to a courtyard space and a huge projector screen. Now it's actually a daylight projector screen. So you can see the room's quite bright. It's not your typical cinema room. So you can sit in here when the football's on on a Sunday afternoon, yeah. not having to worry about closing anything off and really just enjoy the big screen. And it's a Dolby Atmos um, system as well. So like top of the range projector, we've got speakers in the false wall where Jazz is just pointing yes. now. Yeah, and that was all 30 grand. So no expenses spared in this room. So what have we got next door? Because there's another doorway there. Ooh, let's go nosy. So in here, we actually have our secondary kitchen. Yeah, now, this is like the utility room, but it yeah. is the size of everyone else's kitchen. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a kind of mirrored image of the larger kitchen. So you've got the Neff appliances here and the same layout with the two fridges kind of doubling up and everything. And then you've got the storage 
side here with the Bosch washing machine. This would be a fantastic place to prepare food in the summer. Obviously, we've got the access yes. just there outside. Exactly. So every room on this ground floor leads out to a courtyard. The house is in the middle of the plot, so you've got a garden all around. It's great. Now down here, we have two things. We've got the plant room. So we have a Weissmann heating system, which is top of the range. And then through here, access to our garage. So it's only a one car garage, but it's very much extended. So you could fit a big car, like a yeah. Range Rover. Some bikes. <laughs> yeah, some bikes in there too. And that's nice and secluded at the back of the house. Lovely. We've got more double doors leading into this lounge space. As you can see, we've got two access points out to the back garden. Just such a beautiful, relaxing room. Really. Such elegant panelling all the way around the edges. I love the yeah. blue, blue velvet curtains, little yeah. splashes in here. Pop of colour. Yeah. Ooh, two directions we can go in. Let's go this side. Like, even the panelling runs all the way throughout this yeah. hallway. Okay, so in here we have the study. Now, fun fact about this room, the panelling on the walls is inspired by Kourtney Kardashian. So, yeah. there you go. And it looks really amazing. It's mirrored onto the ceiling, just slightly bigger. It's kind of like a little microcosm, isn't it, on the walls? Yes. And then the big ones up top is like yeah. the main feature. Exactly. And then once again, access out to the garden. We've got the parquet floor running all the way throughout here. And check out the Havana box. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> That's so cool, little cigar collection. But yeah, I like the warm, neutral tones in here. You know, as a study space, it'd be a nice place to get some work done. Sure. So going past the front door again, come down here, we've got some more storage, kind of like a boot room section. You open all these up for shoes and coats, and I like that they're mirrored as well. Very elegant. Yes. And then we come into our downstairs bathroom. Now we've got marble work countertops, I should say, throughout here. A very, like, striking crapper's toilet. Yeah. I think that's such a good name for the toilet for that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the subway tiles all the way around as well. Yeah, and they're from a, an America. They're from America as well. And then we've got the frosted windows in here too. Plenty of storage. The ceiling heights are incredible here as well. You've got three metre high ceilings, which is really interesting because when you look at the house from the outside, you wouldn't expect that. Tom will speak a more, more about the roof later because it's actually really interesting. But the skirting boards along here were laser copied from a world-renowned architect. That's yes. really high tech, I suppose. Another fun fact, Cristiano Ronaldo came to do a viewing here. Yeah. So. But it didn't yay. have a pool. As you know, Cristiano needs a pool. <laughs> right, should we check out upstairs? Let's go. <laughs> Swimming up. <laughs> then we're gonna head firstly into the principal suite just so come on through We've got double doors opening up into here and straight away your eyes are gonna be drawn to this ceiling so we've got the geometric design really unique looks great with all of the ambient lighting in there as well yeah so spacious in here because of the mansard style roof it's like conv convex yes. so it like you have twice the height in the ceiling. We're right at the top of the build here. It's not like there's a loft above. Yeah. So you really get massive ceiling heights yeah. downstairs and upstairs. We've got the dressing room just around here. Plenty of space there. But next door was actually originally designed to be the dressing room. So that's always an option if you need yeah. more, more storage. Double bed in the middle, great light fixture up above and the TV ahead of the bed. But let's come into the ensuite in here. So we've got subway tiles all around a mixture of marble and granite in here. Mm -hmm. And this shower is so good, isn't it? You oh, just wow. walk straight in, huge shower head, and you've got the handheld jet as well. Yeah, you've got speakers in here as well. Yeah, got the twin, twin basins here, large vanity unit there, and the cast iron bath. These are half a ton. Wow, <laughs> they're pretty incredible. Pretty heavy duty, right? And then we've got the underfloor heating as well. That was. All of the ground floor downstairs is also underfloor heated. Yes, and all the bathrooms. Yes, so we'll head through this door. So this is what I said was originally designed to be the walk-in wardrobe, hence the door straight through. But it would make a great nursery if there was a child yeah. right next door to the principal suite. 
you know, you've got easy access straight through. You've got the curved TV and a view of the garden. Very nice. Such a great position where the house is here. Got yeah. Velux windows as well. So, so it stays nice bright. and bright. Yeah. yeah. Another set of double doors into another principal suite. So this was designed for footballers and the likes who tend to travel internationally, bring their family with them when they move yeah. somewhere like this. So if your parents were moving in with you, you wouldn't want them to have to have a smaller room than you, would you? So you get two principal suites, again with the geometric style on the roof, on the yeah. ceiling, sorry. Looks like honeycomb. Or yes, like it a does. Waffle. <laughs> that was just uh, from the owner's brain, brain I think. He yeah. just thought, this looks cool, let's do it. Glad he did, it looks great. Yeah, and we've got loads of glass this side, keeping it nice and bright. And another walk-in wardrobe here. There's a ruckus system for the Wi-Fi. So there's boosters all over this, this property, but then also there's a wired connection into each of the bedrooms. So if yes. you want to plug the Ethernet cable in, you've got high-speed internet if you want to stream games, yeah. anything like that. Yeah, super high-speed. Let's come into this principal suite, similar style to the other. Just as much size, <laughs> yeah, wow. space in here. We've got the frosted glass, keeping it nice and private. Speakers in here, so you can bump those tunes while you're having a shower. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, amazing. Love that design. So now we're gonna come back out into the hallway. We've got five bedrooms on this floor, three bathrooms, one downstairs, so four in total. Just check this one out. Yeah. Okay. Similar material palette, same material palette, and a colour scheme in here. So large, you can probably tell by my voice, the acoustics yeah. of this room, just how spacious it is. Yeah, great niche here for some decorative bits. Beautiful. Now we're gonna head through into this one. This one's actually empty at the moment, unfurnished, so similar to this, just the flip side of it. Another double bed, great space, and a view of your secret courtyard out the front. Yeah. Should we go check all the outside bits out? Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Okay, here we are then, coming outside. So we have the cedar wood cladding just up above on the ceilings here. We've also got cast iron guttering all around, so wow. top of the range stuff. Let's step down. We've got two different courtyards, one around the corner, one secret courtyard out the front. The plot is very unique in the fact that the house is in the center of the plot, so you do have garden all the way around you. It's about 300,000 just on all the plants imported from Europe to yes. create this garden. We're having our first look back and you can really see that American influence now. Mm -hmm. We've got the similar style geometric shape yeah. for the, the slate roof tiles that yeah. have all been hand cut. Wow. Yeah, amazing. We've got like a courtyard just there, the way yeah. it slopes round. Another great thing is how private this house is because you've got two electric gates. So you've got yes. the first one and a second one. A lot of people, if you say had like big cars, expensive cars, you could park them round the back as the access yes. point to the house is at the back. So very There's private. a gate for delivery drivers. Yeah. And then another gate to come through for guests or whatever. Yeah. So you, they could actually come through really private. We've got security systems. The funny thing about those, well, not funny, but interesting. If you look at this post here, it was kind of modeled off the London lampposts. Yeah. It looks really nice and we've also got um, invisible lasers on yeah. the perimeter of the property as well as a speaker system. Yeah, so panel. if you try and get in here, you're going to get an earful. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this tour. Make sure to like and subscribe. We'll stick up another video just here from the last time we visited this area. So if you want to check it. that, if you want to check that <laughs> out, you can press that and we'll see you guys next time. Oh, and a thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> a thumbnail. <laughs>